today i am going to teach you the work of breathing so to learn work of breathing we have to note two important thing that work of breathing is actually the work done to overcome two kind of resistance number one aerobic resistance and number two is the resistance against the elastic resistance i am writing this er so as you can see this graph there are two axes one is this y axis and other is the x axis this is the respiratory frequency or you can say it as the respiratory rate so as you can see that as we are increasing on x axis there is increase in the respiratory rate and similarly when the respiratory rate increase the breaths are getting shallower so when the breaths are getting shallower that means that its tidal volume is guess what it's increasing or decreasing when the respiratory rate is increasing and breaths are getting shallower tidal volume is decreasing so by keeping these three two points in your mind now we'll move on to this graph now see this this is the airflow resistance so as you can see that when we move on x axis that means the respiratory rate is increasing and the tidal volume is decreasing the air flow resistance is comparatively increasing you can see this and then now we see this if we move toward this side this air flow resistance is decreasing but this elastic resistance is increasing see this this elastic resistance is increasing comparatively so if we have to see as a whole this is the total work of breathing the cumulative of the elastic resistance and the air flow resistance so uh, we have to keep two things in our mind first i have to raise this one thing is that the total work of breathing as you can see here this is the total work of breathing has a value at some point here here the work of resistance is minimal so we have to find that where it is the point that where the work of breathing is minimal so we have two conditions one is the obstructive airway diseases the other is are the restrictive airway diseases we see what are the changes see this this is the restrictive lung disease in the restrictive lung disease what do you think the changes are happening in the lungs as you know that the restrictive lung disease there is increased fibrosis as you know all there are different different restrictive lung diseases there is interstitial lung disease in which pulmonary fibrosis and multiple or you know all now we see this as you can see that air flow resistance is comparatively equal to the normal there is no big change but the major change you can see that this there is the elastic resistance and there is the elastic resistance in in restrictive lung diseases comparatively there is increased elastic resistance so as i told you earlier that in order to overcome the increased elastic resistance so you can see that elastic resistance is decreasing this way you know that so to overcome that the body has a compensatory response that our body increases the respiratory rate so by increasing the respiratory rate you know what what our body will do by increasing the respiratory rate 